Hello. Um, I'm very low 177, and this is kind of my uncut first impressions of this update. Of the IndyCar update for Project Track Day. I'll start with the good. We got two new things in this update. The first of which being the map. The Indianapolis map, which I'm driving on right now, if that wasn't obvious enough. And the map is good. It's a very, very good map. There's a lot of little things here that you wouldn't expect to be here. Some reason. But that aside, the map has so many little things in it. It's amazing. It's a very, very good map. It's arguably one of the best maps on Project Track Day. I'm not very good at this game. Ah, uh, even though I used to be a tracer, but that's besides the point. The map, phenomenal! details on it. You can see a lot of it because I'm playing, well, I'm not at a high quality. I believe it's that quality. The grandstands, the pit lane, the circuit, the course in the middle. It's not something like something like almost a living a secret that we could explore. Um, yeah, half the light to go over. The, just a frustrating map, if that makes any sense. It just uh, a frustrating update. Because this map, the quality of this map shows that, hey, the people at DevGem know what they're doing. This is a phenomenal map. Whoever designed this map should definitely be kept on to make other huge projects for this game. That's important to make more maps, and, and whoever designed this person in particular, whoever designed this track in particular, should absolutely, at the very least, be the lead designer for as many maps as they're willing, as they're willing to work on. It's, it's phenomenal. I thought it was a frustrating update. And the more experienced players of you would have immediately seen some issues if you haven't already noticed them. And at the bottom of our screen, I'm going to direct my attention to the bottom of your screen. No ABS, no track control. Pretty standard when you can open your car. So why am I not locking the tires up? I'm, br I'm turning under braking, and I'm not locking the tires up. I'm not going straight on like I should. And I'm getting on the power full throttle at a low speed. I should be immediately spinning around to the wall. Immediately. This is the oval transition, by the way, not the, not the road court transition. The road court transition is longer. For some reason. The map shows exactly what Project DevGem is capable of. And they are capable of giving us phenomenal content. But the car is just it's just a it's a disaster. I can't enjoy the track with the car bouncing and hopping like it is, and also me being bad at the game. It's 
it's such a bouncy car. For some reason it's not bouncing now, but the track save. I'd like, let's say it's Kubo. like Tsukuba, you'll see the big issue with this car. And why exactly I didn't even make this video at all. The car, it just not good enough. The car is not good enough. They're functionally the same cars, by the way. I don't know why they didn't make it a skin. You can see already just how jittery it is. long gears are. This car is bouncing as much as it can be. It's bouncing more than the 2022 Haas F1 car did. Well, that's a pretty hard bar to climb. This is a scuba track where it's normally very difficult to get the power down. Here I am doing it with no problem. I'm not doing any like clever throttle line of it or anything. I'm just I'm pressing and holding W, maybe lifting. The only time you ever move the car is when it bounces. And that's just not good enough. Dev Gem. It's not to mention that while the model for the circuit is good. The model for the car doesn't hold up. Every other car in the game, when you look at the interior cam, you have a functional steering wheel and functional gauges, even if some of those gauges, like on the Lotus, are inaccurate and display the wrong RPM, simply because they're not a digital gauge. The steering wheel is a stiff turn. This is an open wheel car that is fairly advanced. And yet the steering wheel doesn't the steering wheel is completely motionless. This car feels rushed. This car feels rushed, this update. Even though they've had a year to do it, it feels like they crammed it all in a month. But I get it, they've been focusing on the game that's more profitable, which is MRT, they met racing Tokyo. And that's fine. But it's been. Other than te not counting teasing for the IndyCar update, it's been radio silence. Like, no patch notes about bug fixes. Like, no serious updates other than teasers for this game. That I've been aware of, that I'm personally aware of, anyways. But it's just. frustrating because the map. No, we can see what the game, what the, what these devs are capable of. We, we know what they can do, but they just under deliver with this car. It it should not be this grippy to the road. I should be spinning the tires up. Can I even spin them in reverse? I can't spin the tires up in reverse on the grass. That is how much grip this car has. only cars that cannot do that, the only other cars are the LMPs, and those are all-wheel drive. And frankly, I, this car does feel like it's all-wheel drive. This car does feel like an LMP with constant battery. And one, with constant battery and one less gear. And it 
shouldn't. This car should be very tricky to drive. This car should be fast. You should be fast. If you're fast. But it's, it's not. This, this car teaches so many bad habits. And the way that you, you turn so well under braking is just not characteristic of it. Of it. Like, close to I should have gone straight on, off the track. But yes, Indy cars do have a lot of downfalls. I will say that. They, they are quick cars. They have powerful engines. Yeah. But they're not this fast. They don't have this much downforce. They don't have so much traction that, hey. Like, nothing could touch it. Th this isn't that. This isn't that at all. We, we as the player base know what you can do, Dev Gem. You have to to remake this car. You won't be you won't be able to get away with just tweaking things. This car needs to have a complete retune. I feel like every value needs to be adjusted. I know you can do it, Dev Gem. I know you can do that. You guys need to remake this car. Fix all the little details, fix the issues with spawning in the races. Or you get NAN instead of an RPM gauge, and the camera goes insane and gives you a seizure. Fix it, Dev Gem. I know you can. I don't want to have to make a follow-up video about how this hasn't been changed. I want to make a follow-up video about how this has been fixed and how much better it is now. Please get this fixed. Please. Thank you.